Hello everyone, this is Parvati here from Paro's Craftology and this is the project I made for the hop. Do hop along with us and, and win amazing prizes from our generous sponsors. Let's now see how this project was made. So I've used uh, the music collection from Stamperia. This is a beautiful paper pad made by them and I am planning to use this particular image here as my focal point. I have just uh, roughly cut the edges with hands. I wanted to have that tattered look on the edges so I'm just maintaining and going with the flow. And now to distress it more I'm using a scissors and distressing the edges. Now let's start working on our base. So I'm using a MDF plank here and um, what I did was I just primed my base using a white gesso and now to add texture to my base I am adding some crackle paste and using white crackle paste here. Now one thing to remember about crackle paste is that uh, always allow it to dry air dry uh, I mean uh, don't heat dry it because uh, the best crackles are always produced when you let it air dry I've just uh, roughly added it wherever I felt like and now on to adding more texture this time I'm using rust paste So this actually has that granular sand like uh, texture and it actually looks like rust and this is a must have paste maybe according to me. It helps in adding beautiful texture to your background. Now the next thing I am doing is white gessoing all my um, embellishments so I will be using some handmade flowers and some uh, clay embellishments the idea is to have uh, a similar color all across my project um, that's matching the background shades of the focal element and as it's a bit vintagey uh, I am going to give an undertone or the base of uh, brown all across my project so that's what you're seeing me edging all my embellishments using some brown so the brown I'm using here is uh, an impasto paint from Finnabair uh, in the shade dark chocolate Now let's start creating our background colors right so I'm using uh, Lindy's spray the shade I'm using here is Sassy Sapphire it's one of my favorites and uh, yeah after every coat of a color uh, always ensure that you are heat drying them or uh, let it dry um, naturally but as it takes time, I uh, prefer heat drying it. So once that was done, I realized that I didn't cover up my uh, rust paste. So you may leave it as such, but uh, I want that colors to be uniform across. Um, and if I leave my rust paste as is, the dark brown will pop out 
much more than what I would want it to. So that's the reason why I covered it with white gesso. And uh, now on to more colors. All the sprays I'm using here are from Lily's. I've used some uh, yellow, some lemony uh, green and some dark green shades here and now to add the main uh, vintage kind of look I'm adding some brown shade here so this particular uh, tone I have coated like three or four times to finally get the uh, pigment I wanted so I wanted the brown to be more prominent than the other shades so that's the reason why I did and this was how it looked after two three coats and I was happy with it and now to make it more prominent uh, I'm adding the same shade of impasto I have diluted it using some water and just roughly brushing across the edges to give it that prominent vintage look Well, honestly, I'm not a vintage person. Uh, I mean, my projects are more or less uh, more colorful than vintagey. But uh, this particular project was completely inspired by the Stamperia papers. I was in love with these papers, and I wanted to make something out of it. And I had no other option but to go vintage because these are such pretty vintage sheets and they are to die for. So why not? A bit out of my comfort zone to be frank but I am kind of enjoying it. To give it that uh, feminine touch, uh, I'm adding some lace to the edges. So what I did was a broad lace I took and I cut it into half and then I've used the two halves on two sides so that the edges just peeps out from the tattered, uh, you know paper sides and it gives that delicate uh, something to my project just to ensure that everything is blended well I'm just adding roughly adding some uh, dark brown shade to the laces also not too much just slightly so that it uh, doesn't look out of the place now to the mold I am just adding some uh, metallic wax it helps to highlight uh, the textures in your molds and now we will start assembling our embellishments so I've used molds from Prima Re Redesign. And the flowers, we had colored them while we did our background so that they all match and doesn't look off. Just doing a small floral cluster there
some more additional details now to layer up i am uh, using some die cut elements here and uh, i decided to heat emboss them i am using embossing powder from stamperia again here and let's layer it up now to add some more interest to our project i'm using a small window pane here uh, a window and one side of its pane adding some colors to these I found that the background gold was too blingy and um, needed some detailing so I decided to stamp it with some musical notes because our hop is all about winter songs so I thought why not and I was quite happy with how my window looked a small arrangement right below the window also just to complement our um, main floral cluster and to add more interest i'm adding some uh, beaded danglers well these are chip boards but they look like beaded danglers and i just love them now on to more layering so i'm using a half a uh, clock embellishment I added some metallic charms on the top corners to complement the arch that we gave and it looks complete that way for me so yeah I wanted to add some more chip boards these chip boards I'm using are from Expressions Craft they are one of the sponsors for this hop so if you're lucky enough you may get some beautiful prizes from them as well i've colored the entire embellishment using some metallic uh, paints some uh, metallic waxes from Finnabare 
and uh, finally to tone it and to uh, you know bring it uniformity with the rest of the project i have uh, just dry brush some uh, dark chocolate and pass the paint over it and well it's a winter project so you need some snow right so that's what you'll see me uh, do here i am using ice and snow paste again this is from expressions craft and it's a beautiful uh, paste to have honestly I am just randomly stamping the musical notes so that uh, the project looks you know combined and the main image and the background uh, you can make out much of a difference so yeah now to add some more interest uh, the tiny details actually are the ones that finally combines your entire uh, composition so i am adding some micro beads here because we have everything in brown i am using uh, micro beads in the shade bronze uh, these micro beads are again from finabear and last but not the least i wanted to add a small cute uh, reindeer also so reindeers somehow you know it uh, it reminds us of winters it reminds us of christmas so yeah that's the reason why i wanted it there and um, the way it was looking it was as though it's looking at the lady playing the musical instrument and i thought it's perfectly going with my project and this is the final outcome i really hope you guys enjoyed watching this and if you did please do like the video please do leave a comment till we meet again it's parvati signing off thank you for watching Don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye.